Many people all just wonder and imagine as to whether God has plans for them or not. God has a great thought and great ideas for your life. Let me inspire you with this story and you will be fully persuaded of God's plan for your life. There lived a man in a small village who had bound himself to laziness. He would always keep striving harder and harder to get food without doing any hard work. One day, he visited the farm of a certain old man and plucked an apple fruit from the farm without the man's permission. Whilst eating the fruits, the farm owner showed up suddenly. The boy being frightened knowing what he had done was wrong, ran into the forest. The moment he entered the forest, he saw an old leopard with only two legs. This leopard couldn't walk like all the other animals but only crawl about. The man began to wonder how this leopard was surviving. Suddenly, there approached a lion with a meat in its mouth moving towards the direction of the old leopard. The man been gripped with fear climb a tree to observe what would happen, leaving the leopard alone. The man anticipating what would happen saw the lion left the piece of meat for the leopard to eat. The man felt so happy seeing the play of God. He started to think that God always has a plan set to take care of his creations. Then he believed that God must have something planned for him too. So he left to find a place to sit and wait for someone to bring him food as in the case of the crippled leopard. He waited and waited there for three days without any food. Finally been struck with hunger he left from that waiting place. Upon going he met an old sage on the way. He told everything to the sage and asked, O oh wise one, God showed mercy to the crippled leopard but why didn't he show mercy to me? The old sage answered. It's true God has a plan for everyone. You are obviously a part of his plan, but son, you took his signs in a wrong way. He didn't want you to be like the crippled leopard, he wanted you to be like the lion. Sometimes in life we can misread God's signs for us and take them in a wrong way. But don't despair maybe contemplate about your life so far and think about what God signs you have possibly misread in your life. As the heavens are higher than the earth even so vast are God's plan for your life. I hope this story could shine a light on the more happier and successful path that you can take in life. May the Lord align you to his plans and purpose for your life in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen.